This video is about changing out the drive motor assembly for an ink pump in a Mamaki UV printer. This assembly is used to drive both single and dual ink pumps, such as what we have here. It is used in the JFX 200s, the UCJB 300, uh, as well as in today I'm going to be swapping one out in a UJF 6042 Mark II. Uh, same in the 3042 and the 7151 uses a couple of them as well. So here we have both the ink pump and the drive assembly behind it. It's usually mounted to the back wall in one of these machines as represented by this box here. So to change the drive unit we would normally remove these two black screws and with those screws removed we can remove the pump from the drive unit. Now, this has been engineered, thank you Mamaki, in such a way that you won't have to break the ink lines to do this procedure. Usually you can move this away and then we can go ahead and swap out the drive unit. And it's usually mounted by a couple of black screws up here. Its failure mode is usually after years of hard work, this metal gear will start to chew away at these plastic ones. Luckily, it's a pretty cheap part to replace and easy to replace. But let's move on to the machine. Here in this 6042, the circulation pump is accessed from the back, so let me get this machine turned around. Here below the bottles, I want you to remove all the screws indicated by blue triangles. Uh, save these two for last. Don't forget the two down here, and then when you take these last two out, go ahead and hold on to this so it doesn't fall to the floor. And with those covers removed, will have good access to the pump that we're replacing today. Here it is, right here, circulation pump. There's two in this machine. If you have to replace this one, then I recommend you take this side cover off. But there's not much to say. I'm just gonna get in there and do it. You can watch. My hands will be in the way a little bit because there's not much room to work. So with the ink line still attached, we're just going to set that aside. And here is the drive unit we're replacing. Going to disconnect the electrical plug. Remove the two screws. And disconnect this harness clip, or harness from the clip. And that's it. Assembly is reverse. So with the two mounting screws in place, we can swap the harness clip over to the new drive assembly. Get all these wires squared away. And plug in the drive motor. Alright, so now we're going to reinstall the pump. 
when we attach this and screw it in, this gear reduction wheel will automatically engage this. There is no alignment, anything like that to worry about. We're fully assembled. Check your work. Make sure your plug is fully seated. Make sure no wires or tubes got pinched during reassembly. And you should be good to power up now. That's it.